These are the biggest hits by the hottest stars. Hot star Christina Aguilera says this song is a twist on the old genie in a bottle story. She says, quote, A genie has always been portrayed as a man's female slave. Now, it's I'm not coming out of my bottle unless you please me the way I want to be pleased. It's a total girl power song. Unquote. Jumping four notches to number eight, here's Christina with Genie in a Bottle. I'm Casey Kasem. Well, now we're up to the latest hit for Grammy winner Christina Aguilera, who was recently the prize in a contest, a contest that had her performing live at a high school prom. Talk about a prize to remember. The contest billed as the prom of your life was promoted in newspapers from coast to coast. A sweepstakes sponsored by Procter & Gamble, the home products company, and they totally geared the contest to the many teens graduating from high school this spring. There are actually several levels of winners. The second prize winners get tuxedo rentals for the guys and cosmetic makeovers for the girls. The first prize winners get a limousine rental for the big night. But it's the grand prize that graduating high school students were dreaming about. The grand prize was a performance at their prom by Christina Aguilera. That's right, the Grammy winner for Best New Artist of the Year agreed to put on a show. Talk about a night to remember. The lucky winner was Colin Shapiro, a freshman at Greenbrier High School in Augusta, Georgia. And that caused a bit of a stir. You see, Greenbrier's prom is generally attended by graduating seniors. And some upperclassmen were miffed that a freshman was attending. But that wasn't the only problem. Senior John Smith says, My girlfriend and her friends didn't like it at all. Seems all eyes were focused on Christina Aguilera. (laughs) <laughs> Rising three notches to number 13, here's prom queen Christina Aguilera with her latest hit, I Turn to You. I turn to you. Number five. Christina Aguilera is a star who still yearns to learn. She says, quote, I really want to take piano lessons now because it would help me so much when I write songs, unquote. Here's Christina inching up a notch to number five with Come On Over Baby, All I Want Is You. You found it, the hit spot for the hottest hits by music's hottest stars. And this hot star made one of her first TV appearances when she was only eight years old. Christina Aguilera was on Star Search and tied for first place with a 12-year-old. Now here's Christina down a notch to number 10 with I Turn to You. When I'm low. Three years ago this week, one of the top hits in the USA was by a band whose concert demands include guaranteed tee times at a first-rate golf course. The demands are called riders, little personal perks that acts have written into their performance contracts. Over the years, we've heard about some zany perks. Christina Aguilera demands Flintstone vitamins, soy snacks, and organic vegetables. Counting down the hits with Casey Kasem. These are radio's hottest hits from 40 to number one. Well, now we're up to an American Top 40 Extra by Christina Aguilera, a star who's been tagged as a teen pop queen. She says her next album will retire that label once and for all. When Christina Aguilera first burst upon the pop music scene back in 1999, she was a teenager. And she says her music was the music of a teenager. Quote, when you're 17, you're green. I fell into something that wasn't quite me. She says that now she's ready to move to the next stage in her musical career. Quote, I'm 21 now. I've grown into more of what I feel like as a woman. This record is definitely my baby. It's a baby that she's been creating along with some of the top names in the music business, including rockers Linda Perry and Dave Navarro, producer Glenn Ballard, and singer and songwriter Alicia Keys. An album due out this fall that Christina says has a message for those who said she was a passing fancy. Quote, I'm going to show you all. I'm going to (laughs) survive. Unquote. Now, with an American Top 40 Extra, here's Christina Aguilera with a song from her first CD. From 2000, this is her number one smash, What a Girl Wants. What a girl wants. We 
have them right here. The hits, the stars, and their stories. Well, now we're up to the song Dirty, the latest hit for a 21-year-old singer who says just a few years in the music business have made her feel at least 15 years older. Christina Aguilera may be just 21 years old, but she spent a big piece of her life as an entertainer. And she says one of the prices she's paid for her career is a lack of friends her own age. Christina says, quote, I had a few friends, but they wanted to rant and rave and go off about boys. I wanted to talk careers. You grow up so much faster in the business. Christina says she spent much of her life surrounded by people who were at least 20 years older. And that's formed who she is. Quote, it's really tough to go up against your record company where they have their own perception of what you should be and what you should sound like. You have to be that much stronger than someone who's older. I feel like a 35-year-old businesswoman in a 21-year-old body. It may be hard on her, but the result is one of the hottest careers in music, a career that this week earns her our highest debut. Rocketing in at number 29, here's Christina Aguilera featuring Redman on Dirty. Casey's Coast to Coast. We're making our way up the chart one song at a time. Down two notches to number 16 is Christina Aguilera, a singer with a four-octave range, which means, as one writer noted, she can hit notes heard only by dogs. Here's Hurt. Seems like it was yesterday when I saw your face. 